All right, and then the last topic here. This one's gonna probably be a little bit, a uh, little bit longer than the last one. We're gonna be talking about three four three industries and Halo, and apparently three four three. Again, like I was just saying with game developers, you know, thinking they shit gold. They don't realize their mistakes of Halo 5. According to them, they think that, oh, Halo 5's story was bad because it didn't have Master Chief. And this is going to be kind of a rant because I'm a huge Halo fan. I played all the games. I read probably 80% of the books. Um, I've read the comic books, um, I know the materials, the characters, whole nine. And the problem with Halo 5, at the end of the day, wasn't the fact that there was not Master Chief in it. I mean, Master Chief was in it, but you played as Lockmore. And according to them, that they, you know, they put out an article that they put out an interview saying that, um, they had a lot of negative fan feedback from fans because... They believe that the fans, you know, wanted to play more as Master Chief and not Locke, and that's why the story was bad. No, that was not why the story was bad. The story was bad because the story was fucking horrendous. Again, like I was saying in the first uh, topic about quality control and quality of a story, they got lazy. At the end of the day, either they got lazy or something happened in development and they can't admit what happened because uh, it was definitely a bait and switch uh, with Halo 5 the story just wasn't there you had a cool premise I guess you can call it uh, you had a lot of marketing lead up to Halo 5 that was putting Locke against Chief and Oni was doing a conspiracy to to put to downplay Master Chief's image because they were trying to hide something and Chief went rogue he was doing his own thing and they were ordering Locke to go take him out but at the end of the day none of that was in game you had the whole hunt the truth podcast where they talked about the backstory behind the spartan 2 project and stuff all the little shady stuff that oni was doing where like this reporter was getting snippets of what was really going on what the people were saying and putting it together to put the whole picture together to realize how oni kidnapped spartan 2s as kids and was training them you know and and, and about how they cloned clone the kids and made it look like they died to their parents so that they didn't realize that they kidnapped their own kids and that's the problem with 343 is that they don't even understand why their game was bad um i'm sure pe people adults can't be this stupid so the story was just bad from the get-go there was no premise if you played through halo 5's campaign you know exactly what i'm talking about you had a lot of unique moments you had Locke and his team come in and everything that was fine but they really didn't have any story. You had a few character moments between them, but as far as the main story, they just it was they, they weren't a part of nothing. You know, you had Chief and Blue Team going rogue, trying to help Chief, you know, find Cortana and everything. That was cool, but no progression in the story. How did Chief know Cortana, you know, was still alive besides having weird fucked up visions that they never explained? You know, that he shouldn't have had to begin with. Um, there was a lot that, that was just missing out of the story. Um, all the marketing material told one story, but yet when you got the game at the end of the day, that was like a whole different story, <laughs> you know? <laughs> uh, so, so that's why I think either, I think they're trying to give a placeholder reason because they have to get popularity around Halo 6 and, um, they have to try to, these are some questions that the community has and they're trying to, they have to provide at least some kind of answer for them. But that's why I think something had to have happened uh, during development of the game. I don't know if maybe the writer that they had quit, maybe they fired him. Uh, maybe they had like a Destiny type situation where they had to scrap the story that what they had and then kind of bullshit a new one in there. But now they just can't admit that, yeah, we just fucked up. You know, you know they can't come out and say that company wise. So they, I think this is a bullshit excuse as far as you know why they think the game is bad the problem with this is if it's not a bullshit excuse then they really believe that the reason why their 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 game sucked was that it, it didn't have master chief master chief's not the problem you know what i'm saying it's it's not that, that you know yeah people like him as a player as a playable character that's cool but i i, I guess i can put him in the same 
I, I, I mean, me personally, I don't do this, you know, because I because I read the book. So Chief is his own person to me when I play the games. Uh, but I guess you can have some Halo fans out there. I've had heard a few people say that that playing Halo to them is, let's say, like playing Mass, um, Mass Effect, you know, one, two and three. When you play Mass Effect one, two and three, Commander Shepard is whoever you envision him to be. You know what I'm saying? Whereas I think that um, in Halo, some some fans think of Master Chief that way. You know, maybe because in the games they never really talk about his character or, or, or anything like that. But even if you do feel that way, I mean, you can enjoy a story where you're not playing as that guy. Look at Halo 2, for example. A lot of people loved, loved Halo 2. And a lot of people like the Arbiter character. You know, I'm one of them. Like, I loved how they did a dynamic in part two. I think the ending was kind of fucked up, but, you know, storytelling-wise, it was a good choice for storytelling. It's the same thing of, um... Any, uh, game or medium where you change a main character. Uh, another prime example. How Marvel, in their comic books, ch made Captain America a Hydra agent. A lot of people, you know, pitched a bitch and hated Marvel and was sending them death threats and all that shit. But they don't realize that it's just great storytelling. In the first issue of that comic book, they say, look, here's the reason why he's a Hydra agent. And you know that, okay, we know he's not a Hydra agent because you had this MacGuffin that did something to him. I don't want to spoil it, so I'm not going to say what happened. But something happened to him, and now he's a Hydra agent. So that argument right there, since they told you what happened, that negates any hate behind oh i hate marvel because they did this Emo. you know it's like they're like they're just doing it to fuck with the characters like no it's just storytelling Emo. and people would realize that even when they did it in halo 5 like if you had a story where you played as lock throughout the game and you they told you that story that was promised in the marketing material of the games and let's say lock progressed through the story of halo 5 and as he's hunting down chief trying to kill him he's learning bits and pieces about who chief is and then by the end of the game, he's like, you know what? I agree with you. I can see how they're fucking you over. You know, so I so I'm gonna be on your side. You know, let's you know, let's do what we gotta do. I think people would relish the idea of seeing Chief from another perspective. And then let's say if Halo 6 came out and you wanted to go back to Chief, now you have a whole nother character you can play around with. You have Lock, Chief, and the Arbiter, if that's what you wanted to do. You know what I'm saying? Now you built up more character, more growth. Because the story in Halo 4 had more character, more story, and more shit than Halo 5 did. That's that's the sad part. It's like, Halo 5, that's why I, I, I really do believe something had to happen during development. Because if you look at the story of Halo 4, that was contained. That, that was story-wise, I mean, I guess you could say how they beat the didact at the end was some bullshit. But the story that they told of Chief introducing a new threat, finding a new threat beating the new threat, uh, Cortana dying throughout the game, you know, and going through all of that. And then you had Chief growing as a character of him saying no to his superiors and dealing with Cortana, you know, dying at the end that was making him angry and pissed off. They never did anything like that in Halo 5. It was just blank. The only time you saw something was where I think um, they told you about, uh, I think, uh, one of the members of Blue Team, I forget, I, I want to say maybe Fred or maybe one of the other ones, asked him, like, yo, man, we've been doing all these missions and stuff and being, like, you know, nonstop. Are, are, are you good? And Chief was like, you know, you know, Chief was just like, yeah. I mean, granted, that's, you know, that's, that, that's huge for a Spartan to admit, you know, emotional-wise. Because cause Spartan 2s are, like, damn near emotionless badasses because they were groomed that way. But just the fact that he's acting differently and saying no to his superiors, like in Halo 4, I love that. That was a big step for character character growth with him. And um, it's just sad that Halo 5 didn't do nothing like that. Like, um, I know Locke's character was kind of messed up because I think the guy who uh, who his character was based off of was uh, the guy who played Luke Cage. I think his name is Mike Coulter. And, uh, but something happened where he was supposed to be Locke in Halo 5, but I think he went off and did Luke Cage. So they couldn't get him to do both. So he had to pick between the two and they used his likeness, his image, but I think they had somebody else voice him. So I think maybe that has something to do with the character or be not, not having a lot of dialogue. Maybe they had to scrap what, you know, maybe, you know, maybe they didn't want to get sued or something. 
with him. something behind the scenes. So like maybe they couldn't use anything with his voice in it. Maybe he recorded half his lines already or something like that. And maybe they just had to scrap it and that they had to kind of fudge a story in there at the last minute. Because that's that's what I truly think happened. Um, I just wish that I wish game developers and companies will be honest about what went on. I mean, I understand you can't say it while the game is out there making money or you can't say like right after release. Yo, man, we fucked that game up. You can't say that <laughs> like right when you come out with a product. So I get that. But let's say like a year, two years later after a game comes out, I wish they would come out and say like, yeah, we had some, you know, we had some problems with, you know, with the game development. You know what I'm saying? That they can't just come out and just say, oh, yeah, we fucked that game up. That game was trash. But I wish that they would come out and just be honest with the people who buy the products. And be like, yeah, like we had some issues with Halo 5, you know. Uh, we, we we tried to work around it as best we can. But, you know, I mean, it is what it is. And, with, you know, with Halo 6, we, you know, we already got everything in place. We're trying to, you know, you have to spin it like a, like a you know, get a PR guy to spin, to spin your story. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Be like, yeah, here's the reasons why Halo 5 was messed up. But we're working on Halo 6 and we got everything ironed out. So it's not going to have those problems. It's, it's going to be a better game to get you hyped for the new one. I wish that they did that. I wish that every game developer did that or every publisher would let their game developers do that. Because when I look at Microsoft they need a uh, like every chance they can get like they don't have no exclusive games i mean <laughs> you know what i'm saying there <laughs> and you got phil spencer coming out and saying that uh yeah we're yeah we're focusing on third party games and multi it's like oh like <laughs> well, i was like so are you just just giving up <laughs> you're you're just gonna get on your knees for sony is that it because apparently that's what they're doing right now. I mean, they got to come out with something. And uh, that's going to lead into the last uh, part of the topic here. And, and, and maybe this is what they're trying to do. Um, 